I'm wondering how the lymphatic system has a passive impact on fascia. We know that the lymphatic system has an impact on, it deals with waste tissue, and so therefore it can decrease muscle spasm just through decreasing lactic acid and all that. And we also know, we, yesterday we learned a technique in which we can use the lymphatic system to locally help with fascial restriction by finding the balance points. By doing lymphatic work, can it actually decrease um, the buildup of fascia in the body without doing the local techniques? Fascia is a tissue, the different layers of tissue, and you have three, four layers embryologically, more, more superficial, deeper, you have fascia in the central nervous system, you have fascia in the viscera, so you have fascia at different layers around the muscles. So we can look at this question, you know, if you do lymph to help the fascia, if you do fascia, can you do lymph after? And, you know, a lot of techniques we do also combine fascia and lymph work at the same time. But the other way to look at it is by working on the lymphatic system, you're going to downregulate the central nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. You're going to bring the system more in parasympathetic state. You're going to decrease the sympathetic activation by the slow, gentle, continuous hypnotic movement we use. So by the intermediary of the nerve, you can already know by bringing the person in more parasympathetic state and do a sympathetic getting rid of the sympathetic tone, you are going to release the tension of the fascia that have a lot of innervation there also. And maybe the myofibril bash is going to relax. Maybe the vessel of small, medium and large caliber are, are going to reopen, dilate, and a lot of things going to happen just because of sympathetic innervation is going to change. So you can that's a way to work before working on fascia. You do a bit of lymph. It's going to release the tone of the fascia, the tension. You don't have to go so deep in the fascia. And as I say, often after, then that's when you're going to dump a lot of waste product probably by pulling the fascia, moving the fascia. Maybe you heard the fascia. Maybe you have some red corpuscles. You, know, you have a little bit of hemorrhage, a little bit of trauma. All that, you want to bring that to the lymph at the end of your work. And this is going to help reabsorb a lot of those waste products. And so it's going to be the, the fascia work is often a duality, a working duality in opposition, and you know, depending how you do it. But the lymph is often a unity. So it's a non-dual work, is unifying. So after you work on the fascia, when you work on pieces and parts, the body will feel funny. You can mm -hmm. reunify the whole work by doing some lymph, drain the waste product, drain the trauma you did on the fascia, on the muscles. Uh, if depending how heavy you are, and that's a very good way to work on it. Mm -hmm. Okay.